That's right, but whether or not it's legal to shoot an intruder just for stepping foot in your house is not so cut and dry. Here's News 13's Amanda Goodman with when it is not okay to shoot. Remember this from a couple of months ago? As soon as I looked up, I saw him. He was on the second floor already, coming towards me, and then he said, freeze. And he turned around. That's a Northwest Albuquerque homeowner moments after he shot 44 year old Richard Garcia in the back, wounding him. Police say Garcia, a career criminal, broke into the house. Widespread knowledge seems to be that if someone's in your house, you can shoot them. Uh, the reality is no. Uh, there needs to be a credible threat. To serious bodily harm. In the case of Richard Garcia, the homeowner felt Garcia, who had a knife, was a threat. The homeowner will not be charged. But what about when the person doesn't have a weapon? That's when things get a little bit more complicated. Retired APD Sergeant Damon Fay teaches a concealed carry course. Somebody merely being in your house could have been drunk and simply trying to find their own house. Fay says if someone is in your house but they don't appear to be armed, you should announce that you are and that you've called police. Sometimes that may be enough to scare them off. He also says there are certain times when you should never fire. No deadly force for misdemeanors. Secondly, a fleeing nonviolent felon. They're outbound. They're gone. Elton John Richard broke that rule. The ex Marine caught a man breaking into his SUV in his driveway, then chased him for blocks before shooting him in the back, killing him. Richard pled guilty to voluntary manslaughter in 2006, but was set free after a public outcry. Faye uses both cases as examples. He says if you still aren't sure when it's justifiable to shoot, think about what others would do. The law requires us to be reasonable. Would a reasonable person in a similar circumstance say, yes, I probably would have done that too? Amanda Goodman, KRQE News 13. Now, there's obviously a lot of gray area here because even if a burglar does not intend to do any physical harm, People can't read minds, so they are under understandably assumed that the true intruder is dangerous. But the ex-sergeant says if they're not making a threatening move or showing a weapon, you could be charged.